What to do, y'all? This is Chris Evans, and this is Talking Data and More. And today, I have a very special guest joining me on Talking Data and More. And this individual has helped lead and made companies data-driven with their business intelligence and data visualization data strategies. So I want you all to welcome Martin Rivera. Martin? Hey, Chris. What's going on, man? Hey, man. Thank you so much for joining. You know, for the folks that don't know who Martin is, you know, can you give a brief introduction on what I would like to call your data superpowers? Yeah, of course, man. Yeah, first of all, thanks for having me on. Um, you know, overall, I've been working with uh, business intelligence and analytics tools uh, for close to 20 years now, uh, since about uh, 2002, uh, in really a bunch of different capacities from, uh, you know, business analysis type roles, um, of course, developer, architect, uh, project lead, project leadership, uh, you know, sales uh, uh, sort of support, right? So, so really have kind of run the gamut uh, in terms of understanding the the end to end, uh, you know, sort of spectrum of business intelligence uh, and analytic solutions. Uh, and then, of course, um, over the last, I don't know, I want to say five, six, seven years, as uh, these tools have become a lot more uh, visual, uh, have been you know, focusing heavily on the visualization and design piece, uh, you know, with uh, uh, various various tools. So. That, that's awesome, Martin. And, and, you know, I, I got to ask you before we get into this, and just like as you articulate, you know, your data superpowers, how have you helped organizations you know, really become data driven as you play those multiple different roles, right? Sure. I got to ask you first before we get into it, as you can tell from the background, who's uh -huh. your favorite comic book character and why? You know, I got to ask, right? <laughs> well, let me see how I can uh, explain this. <laughs> you know, I'll, I'll give you a quick little anecdote because I've, I've had this conversation with, with many of people in a very serious context, right? So we, we can, you know, of course, everyone agrees that firefighters are, are, are heroes, are real life heroes, right? Now, but think about if a firefighter was fireproof, if they were immune to fire, would they, would they, would running into a burning building still be as heroic if the fire is not going to burn you? So with that in mind, I think there's only one actual superhero, and that, of course, is the mighty Batman, who has no superpowers, but is just an awesome dude. <laughs> I'm sorry, I agree, Batman. He's in my top five. I there love that. Go, there you go. <laughs> I love that. And, and Martin, I think that's awesome too, right? Because again, Batman's in my top five. He is truly that superhero. He's got that utility belt. Basically, that utility belt can, has something for anything and everything. And you, you know, being, you know, involved and being in the industry for so long, helping customers be data driven, you have something for all your customers, right? You have something to make the customers data driven. So I have to ask you, based on your multiple years of experience, helping organizations understand the importance of business intelligence, data visualization, can you talk about the, the why business intelligence, data visualization is important and, and the value it brings to organizations? You know? Yeah, of course. Uh, you know, uh, one of the things I've done in the past um, in terms of uh, sort of training and introducing, uh, whether it be clients or, you know, um, personnel, uh, colleagues of mine to the data visualization concepts is this thing that I like to call the five W's of data visualization. So kind of what is it? Uh, you know, who is it for? Uh, where do you do it? Um, when do you do it? And then, of course, the last, the last piece being why, right? Why do we care um, about visualizing data, right? If we have the data available, if we have the data, you know, correct, um, why does it matter? And, and don't get me wrong, as we know, it's all about the data. If the data is incorrect, then, you know, everything else there and forward uh, doesn't, you know, doesn't sort of add up to the data not being appropriate. But um, the way that, you know, we, we can, you know, add value uh, and really kind of, um, capstone of uh, uh, business intelligence and analytics project um, is with data visualization. So if we take an example, a simple example, right, and without, of course, going into the, 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 the context too much, but look at two different news networks, two different news channels, you can look at the same story um, and get two very different conclusions uh, from, you know, really a, a, an analysis or, or, you know, an anecdote of the same event. Um, you get a very different impression of, of, of what intent was, of, in some cases of, you know, even what 
what the players were, what was the effect, and, and, and so on and so forth. And so, you know, if we transfer that to uh, kind of a data-driven uh, situation, uh, you know, we have the opportunity, and dare I say, even the power to shape the message that we're telling with that data through visualization. So for me, I always ensure that, you know, I communicate the importance to, to organizations of what, you know, not only, you know, what you're doing here, but why are we doing it, right? Or, you know, is this a solution that's intended to, you know, um, affect compliance processes? Is it, you know, a revenue generating solution? Is it a cost cutting solution? You know, whatever that may be, right? Performance management, financial forecasting, whatever the, the you know, that, that why may be, and ensure that as we build different parts of that solution, um, we never lose sight of that. That, that, you, that's spot on. And I love how you talk about, you know, definitely the why, but shaping that data, right, to answer some of those questions. I love the analogy with the two different news stories, right? The way you're painting that data is very important. So no, that, that, that's definitely spot on. And that's the value I think that's giving the organization, helping them answer the why to your five uh, different uh, points you bring up, right? Exactly. Exactly. Okay.